Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I would like to talk to you about Slash's first solo album with Miles Kennedy's on lead vocals. But before I do that, check out my Instagram, please, right there. A lot of funny stuff, funny content on that Instagram page. Highly recommend you check it out. Thank you. So now back to the album. Picture right there. It's Slash Apocalyptic Love featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. Very, very great album. Hard rocking tunes, a couple ballads thrown in. From start to finish, you will not skip any tracks. You won't want to. That's how that's how good of an album it is. So if you like Slash, you know his guitar solos are in there. If you like Miles Cannon, you know his high energy vocals are in there. So if you like Slash's stuff, like Slash's Snake Pit, then you have that other solo album where you have all different vocal vocalists on it. I didn't really like that one where you had all different vocalists on it. it wasn't you know, so he's just stuck with one vocalist like he did afterwards. And Slash the Snake Bit, that was, those were two good albums. He had two different vocalists on those two, but the first one I think was better than the second one. Yeah, it's not the same type. That was more like heavy, hard rock and alternative mixed in. This is like straightforward hard rock music. So I'd like to give that a 10 out of 10. Magnets. Highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already. And if you have, good job. But that's just my opinion on what the fuck, what I know.